Welcome back to Recap Machine today we'll take a look at a crazy movie with sultry nuns. The film begins with a man painting in a church. He tells us that he has been painting for a long time but has never received payment. So he approaches the church father for money. When he arrives, he learns that his father died as a result of a disease known as the plague. Knowing this, he is very disappointed because he will no longer receive his payments. Then he notices his father's dress and decides to put it on and become a father of the church. Because a church father lacks nothing, be it money or respect. Then we see Lorenzo fleeing from fear of Gerbino and finally getting away. Gerbino then orders and sends his men to find Lorenzo at all costs. Whereupon Lorenzo's friends give him a horse and ask him to leave town, which Lorenzo does. Then we see a girl named Pam Campania crying because her parents died as a result of the plague. Gerbino appears and sympathizes with her, asking what she's up to next. Gerbino informs Pampania that your father also owes me a great deal of money and that after his death all your property has become mine, so if you want to save the house you have to marry me. On the other hand, in Gerbino's guards, we see Lorenzo running behind him while he encounters a dead man who was deaf and dumb. The other man informs Lorenzo that he used to work nearby as a gardener, but has now stopped working there and has died. Therefore, Lorenzo believes that if he becomes mute and deaf, he will go there to become a gardener and then he can save the job. When he is kidnapped by the Trebino guards, he climbs a tree to help the Trebino guards to escape. But soon the branch of the tree breaks and Lorenzo falls and faints. After a while, some nuns approach him and take him to the church where they were in dire need of a gardener. The two nuns decide to check his cute and small bone, they tease Lorenzo and touch him. Lorenzo also regains consciousness at this point, but does nothing because he enjoys her service. Lorenzo wakes up after being kissed by one of the nuns. Then, while Lorenzo was taking a bath two nuns came and joined him. We can understand why the nuns wanted a dumb and deaf gardener. They just wanted to hug him every day and because of his disability, he will not be able to tell anyone. We see Pampania with their friends in a church. Here Pampania tells them that he has a second home in this town where she will get married. Russia's King Pina invites everyone to come there, and Gerbino comes and asks Pampania. She explains that she is only praying because the Russian king had some time to come. Here and Pampania didn't want to be with Gerbino either so she hatches a plan to stay in the church. But it was the same church where Lorenzo worked as a gardener and as a hug slave in the church. As two nuns were preparing Pampania, she sees Lorenzo and inquires about him. The nun smiled and explained that he worked here as a gardener and that he was stupid and deaf. Besides, he puts a lot of effort into us. Anthony didn't understand her hint, then we see another nun in the garden. She calls Lorenzo to work and takes him to the forest to hug him. Pampania notices them and realizes what's going on and that's not a church, it's something else. Pampania is jealous of the other nuns because she also wants to take advantage of Lorenzo and hug him. Jerzinski also arrives at the palace but Gerbino informs him that Pampania will now marry him. Jerzinski storms out, but a man outside tells him that Pampania is waiting for him in another house. In town, Jerzinski then departs with his comrades to go there. When Lorenzo was in his room, two nuns brought him food. They knew what the other nuns were doing to Lorenzo and wanted to do the same to him. He agrees and happily hugs her while drinking her melon juice with two nuns. The next day, while carrying hot water for Lorenzo, Pampania tells the nuns that whatever they do to Lorenzo is a sin. The nuns tell her that there is nothing wrong with that and that she is just jealous. Pampania gets angry and pours hot water directly on Lorenzo's head. We can tell from this that she just wants to hug him and is jealous. Jerzinski was about to hit Pampania when Gerbino attacked him with his guards. All of Jerzinski's companions are killed in the attack, but Jerzinski manages to escape. Pampania's feelings for Lorenzo grow strong in the church. One day Pampania hears Lorenzo sing a song and realizes that he is not stupid and deaf. At this point the face is covered. Then Pampania blindfolds. Lorenzo kisses him and walks from there, but Lorenzo enjoys that kiss and Pampania stimulates his hormones in his bowl. It's time for Pampania to leave after a few days, but before she leaves, she informs the head nurse that Lorenzo is not mute or deaf, 
and that he has been behaving that way from the start, in fact Pampania has done it because she didn't want to see another nun with Lorenzo, now that the head nurse knows about it, she immediately fires Lorenzo, then Lorenzo sat outside, and just then Pampania comes over, Lorenzo asks Pampania to take him too, and Pampania agrees, on the other side we see Jerzynski, he sees a girl underwater, then he begins speaking to her as Jerzynski informs her that he will marry a girl named Pampania, hearing this the girl lies and claims to be Pampania, as Jerzynski had never seen Pampania, he trusts her words, and he likes her very much and wants to hug her, Lorenzo and Pampania, on the other hand, arrive at her house as they were talking, Lorenzo tells her that he loves that girl very much, and that he will marry the woman who blindfolded his eyes that day, Pampania asks how he would recognize her if he has yet to see her face, Lorenzo says he will find her anyway and marry her, Pampania says if you kiss someone else you will forget her, but if you are not sure kiss me, actually Pampania wished Lorenzo would find out that she had him blindfolded that day, when Lorenzo got closer to Pampania, Gerbino arrived with his guards who saw him, Lorenzo talks about fighting with him when the fight starts Lorenzo is unable to face Gerbino but Pampania intervenes before Gerbino can get in kills and says if anything happens to Lorenzo she won't marry him, upon hearing this Gerbino doesn't kill Lorenzo, after a while, Pampania suspects Gerbino killed Lorenzo, she tells Gerbino to get married now, Gerbino sends two of our guards to fetch father, when father arrives and starts talking to her she gives him money and tells him she is not ready for this marriage, she asks him to postpone the wedding as long as possible and father agrees by taking the money, two from the Gerbino's guards go into the woods to release Lorenzo, here they have a plan to kill Lorenzo, but Lorenzo kills them before they kill him. On the way to Pampania's house he comes across Jerzynski and as a result, he goes in the same direction on the other side Pampania and Gerbino start getting married while the father is having the marriage begins to delay at Pampania's request. Gerbino becomes enraged by this so he scares the father with his sword and asks him to hurry up and finish the procedure. Then Jerzynski comes there too, and sees the gun in his hand, Gerbino runs away from there, at the same time Lorenzo gets there too, and then Jerzynski and Lorenzo together kill all of Gerbino's guards, Jerzynski ends up fighting Gerbino alone, and Gerbino can't jump in in front of him and his sword falls to the ground, at that moment Lorenzo asks to fight Gerbino, Jerzynski tells Lorenzo that if he can't kill him he will, Gerbino then starts fighting with Lorenzo standing by the well, during the fight Gerbino falls down the well and dies after all, that Pampania arrives and informs Jerzynski that they cannot marry each other because she is in love with Lorenzo, Jerzynski notices her face and tells her that you are not the Pampania I met at the lake and that I want to marry the same Pampania, meanwhile the girl from the lake appears from behind, but there it is revealed that the girl is none other than Pampania's friend, Melissa, Jerzynski is over the moon to see Melissa as he just wants to hug her, then Pampania turns to Lorenzo and proposes marriage to him, on the other hand claims that, I want to marry the same girl who blindfolded me that day. Hearing this Pampania asks Lorenzo to kiss her and he realizes that Pampania was the girl who blindfolded him that day. After noticing this he agrees to the marriage, so that was the story of the film Virgin Territory which was released in 2007. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Also what did you think of this film? Let me know in the comments below along with a movie you want to see recapped.